Hey guys, welcome to this video. I hope uh, you are doing great. Uh, it's now been roughly one year since I bought this uh, abandoned house in the Swedish countryside and we've had uh, quite a long and cold and, and dark uh, winter and now when spring is, uh, is coming here I can't help but feel quite stressed out. I mean the amount of work to to get this property in a, in a in a good shape is, is starting to feel quite over overwhelming uh, and i know that uh, we usually say that it's it's not about the destination but the journey to get there uh, but i could <laughs> really use some easy wins here so i can feel that that uh, I am making progress. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go and check out some of the stuff that I've been working on lately and what I have in, in the plan uh, short term. Uh, so let's go. One thing that I started already uh, last year was to trim down this hedge that is running along one of the sides of this property. It's been completely overgrown so uh, it's been quite tough work to, to do this first trimming and I'm left with these uh, piles and piles of, of brushwood so I'm not sure exactly how to dispose of it. Uh, it would for sure make uh, a really huge and nice bonfire, but I think it's not the season to start a fire here. All this land here behind me was covered by uh, root sprouts and, and uh, tall grass and, and whatnot. I've uh, dug up some tree stumps and, and cut down the grass uh, quite a lot here. So I'm kind of uh, <laughs> reclaiming the, the land here from, from, from the nature. So, uh, but uh, uh, as you can see, there, there are quite a lot uh, still uh, remaining. So I will sp be spending some, quite some time here uh, in the future. On this bottom part of the, the yard or, or land here, this uh, part here started to give way and, uh, and uh, some of the mud and dirt is, is falling down into the, into the ditch here next to the road. So I'm not exactly sure how to, to kind of address this, uh, this uh, erosion. Uh, I'm thinking that uh, maybe I need to dig up a little bit and then I want to kind of plant some, some trees or, or bushes here to kind of uh, uh, prevent this uh, happening in the, in the future. So.
talking about easy wins. Uh, maybe if I uh, fix up this uh, shed a little bit, uh, I can feel that I'm uh, making progress. I don't think it's uh, too difficult. Uh, I, uh, I, I want to change the kind of the, the roof here to have some kind of transparent uh, uh, material, transparent uh, roofing material to get some lights in and then I know currently the, the this inner ceiling is actually uh, windows uh, just like here on the side uh, so maybe if I remove them and, and put them in 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 the in the places here where where there is uh, missing some some uh, window uh, and yeah Maybe that's uh, all that is uh, required. Uh, it would look uh, nice, I think. Uh, then I could do have it as a as a plant school for for bringing up uh, tomato plants and and whatnot. talked about this before but uh, replacing the the roof of, over this uh, sitting area here could be another maybe easy win I don't think it's uh, so difficult uh, to replace and not so costly and it would for sure uh, give a really nice impression uh, compared to its uh, current state What I'm sitting on now is the top of the sewage system or the water cleaning system. It's a, a three container uh, or three chamber container that, that purifies uh, uh, the water in different phases and so on. And usually there is also a, a like a ground bed uh, for further purification that uh, that should accompany this this one. Uh, the, according to the municipal, it is not uh, meeting current standards, so I need to take some action and, and uh, maybe add some step in the purification process or redo everything here. Uh, and I think uh, depending on the status uh, of uh, what I currently have here, uh, yeah, uh, that will decide the cause of action uh, for, for me. Uh, in any case, uh, hopefully I can reuse as much as possible, but there are also other solutions that maybe require less space than this uh, three con uh, chamber container and the, and the ground bed. Uh, but they are usually a little bit more costly, but uh, uh, let's uh, see what I will decide uh, upon uh, later here. One thing that, uh, that you need to do here in, in Sweden is to apply for a permit to, to kind of redo this. And, and I called the municipal uh, the other day and I got some the application forms and, and uh, like a list of, of uh, qualified contractors uh, that maybe can help me uh, do this. So uh, I think this, if I can achieve this, this will be a, a major step in this uh, renovation or this uh, yeah this uh, countryside house renovation project and, and uh, hopefully i can get this done uh, soon i need this <laughs> and while we sit here all these uh, kind of of uh, green plants here in, in, in behind me are, are yeah something similar like poison ivy and so on if you touch them you will for sure get a, a rash and, and it will sting you and it will be itchy and so on. 
However, they are good as uh, you can make tea out of them and you can use them in, in cooking, at least when they are like a baby leaves. Uh, and also uh, later on you can use them, uh, they will be uh, like a good fertilizer for your other plants uh, and so on. If you just soak them in, in, in water for a couple of days and then you can use that as a, as a kind of a quite potent uh, uh, fertilizer for, for your crops. Just so you know. Uh, taken care of uh, for a long time is, is uh, the garage. Uh, after tearing down the inner ceiling this uh, autumn I just uh, clo <laughs> closed the door and, and just left it alone and now I need to kind of clean this up uh, all the debris uh, remaining after I tore down the inner ceiling so um, but I, <laughs> I I try to avoid coming here and just uh, push it forward. Um, let's see, maybe one day when it's not uh, super nice uh, weather, then maybe I can uh, take care of this. This weekend I was uh, working uh, here in the yard uh, next to this uh, big uh, cherry tree. I was digging up tree stumps and cutting grass and whatnot. And uh, before leaving in the evening, uh, before entering the car, I, I decided to look down back on the on the property and I I noticed that the cherry tree was uh, in full bloom. <laughs> I had been working next to it the whole day without uh, noticing this and I think these are the things that uh, makes you think about life, at least I do. And uh, it's kind of uh, suitable also that it is a cherry tree uh, since I have lived quite many years in Japan and in Japan the cherry blossom is, uh, is uh, very popular and it's frequently used as a metaphor for the volatility of life. Uh, I mean, we can do a lot of things and work uh, hard and, and everything and just uh, not noticing the, the beauty that the nature is often offering. Uh, for sure that makes me think. I think this is it for this video. As you can see, there are plenty of stuff to do for me here. I'm not complaining, I'm enjoying every moment of, of my time here, especially a day like this where it's, uh, the sun is shining, it's uh, 24 centigrade, uh, it's just uh, beautiful. Uh, but uh, anyway, I hope I see you in the next uh, video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>